Janie is a girl um, who we think of as an old-fashioned thing, a girl who was shoved in the back because the boy son gets all the attention. You know, she's that child that was never, was always in the shadows. She wasn't really noticed a whole lot. We kind of think of that as old-fashioned. It doesn't happen anymore. I'm sorry, it still happens. Women in our society are still uh, somewhere lower down the chain. And, uh, and even if it isn't specifically like giving all of our attention to the boy and less to the girl, there's still something psychologically that happens. She never got out of the house. And she, she's 25. Um, she's a secretary. She works in an office. Um, she grew up um, in the Bronx. She's been there her whole life. So this is a girl who was always sat in the back seat, both as the second child and as the girl child, um, who has never gotten any attention from her family. She wants to get out of the shadow of her older brother, who's now dead, but she's still in his shadow, even after his death. She's resentful, I think, a little bit. You, you can kind of tell that she has that separation, you know, the parents and the daughter. She's, she's not very loving towards them. Um, she wants to be closer, but there's that separation of a lot of things that have transpired over the years. Is that all? Oh. I guess. You're not gonna tell me about the birds and the bees? Don't be fresh. She has this wonderful boyfriend who is very patient with her um, because she is emotionally damaged goods, uh, but he's very good with her and very patient with her. Ralph brings out her soft side. Ralph brings out the girl in her. Ralph, she's not on the defensive when she's with Ralph. And she says, let's get married and get out of here, but I know how to do this so we don't have to have any wedding, we don't have to have any fuss, we don't have to have your relatives, my relatives, we'll just, we're gonna, we won't elope and insult everybody, but I have a friend who's pregnant who's gotta move out west and they need somebody to drive their car with a U-Haul attached and let's do that, this way we're gone. My mother basically asks me, she, she tells me, She's like, listen, I wanna throw you a wedding, this is what's proper, it's not right, everyone's talking about this and this, why rush? Just let's just do this, okay? And I give in, mostly after we tried that wedding dress on, A, for two reasons. I've never felt beautiful before. Like, I've never tried on a wedding dress. As soon as I see myself in this dress, as soon as I'm trying on this stuff, I start to buy into the fantasy of it. Who would imagine that one white dress could totally spin my head My mother never had a wedding. She never had the love. It wasn't love that made her say I do. It was practicality. It was arranged practically. And when I hear that, and I see how happy she is seeing me in this dress, and the sadness of not, of almost, of not having it herself, and her wanting it for her, and knowing that she's in grief about my brother, I do it for her. And I do it you know, because in some way maybe it's like she's acting like the mother I never had. She starts really talking to her mother, really seeing her father, seeing these people as real people, wondering um, how they got to be where they are. Will her marriage turn out like that? All those questions come up for her and she turns into a very changed person. That song that, we, that I sing with Ralph, never stop saying I love you. You know, when her mother tells her about how her parents got married and why, you know, it was because she got pregnant, you know, and how they never say to each other, I love you. Ralph and I always say it. We're very affectionate. Parents aren't affectionate. It's like they're two roommates, practically, you know, and um, she doesn't want that. Please. I've been Now make your feelings known. Don't ever stop saying I love you. It's easy to say, it's easy to do. I've never loved anything like I love you. And she also does it because it, the idea of it seems cool, you know? It's, wow, a party for me? You know, it's like a wedding for me? Like, 
okay, maybe this is what I've always needed. Maybe I need this before I'm in a serious marriage and I had to be a wife and oh my God. And thinking about all those things, like, am I gonna turn out like my mom? Am I gonna turn out like my parents? Which leads into the rest of the show. We forget that life's really short. And um, I think our show reminds people to, you know, love the people closest to them more and appreciate the people in your life more because, you know, it all can end tomorrow, I think. And we need to be reminded, especially in this day and age, we need to be reminded of that, to love one another um, and appreciate one another more.